So also this morning, the Reserve Bank will be monitoring the release of crucial wage figures as the board weighs up whether to deliver another rate rise next month. Here we go again, huh? Let's bring in Chairman of Yellow Brick Road Home Loans, Mark Boris, now for more. Mark, good morning to you. Morning. Uh, is it going up? What's happening? Well, if you look at the front page of the Review today, it says the RBA turns up interest rate hit and that's coming off the back of their minutes that they put out yesterday where they give you nothing but bad news, sort of suggesting there is quite likely or somewhere between 50 and 60% chance of an interest rate rise again in June. I, I just, I, well, I'm just flabbergasted by this because I don't know how people are going to cope. I don't know what's going to go on. Why would they be considering this? But well, th their, their argument is this. If wages go up today... Which they should. OK. But if productivity doesn't go up then they're gonna, they are saying that the unit cost, in other words, the cost per unit of everything that everybody produces, like if it's a coffee shop, etc., if productivity go, doesn't go up, but the wages go up, therefore the owner of the business will put up their prices, which will cause inflation, because Australia is suffering from a productivity downfall. So I pay you more wages, I say, OK, David, can, you, can you work a bit harder, produce a bit more, but that's not happening. So. It's all about the unit cost. This is what the RBA is talking about. What is the cost of each unit of output? And that is a function of wages and everything else, plus how many units you produce. So if you can produce more, it doesn't matter if wages go up. But the problem is in Australia, we are suffering our biggest downturn of productivity for 20 right. years. Well, regardless of what happens um, at the next RBA meeting, homeowners are already starting to refinance. So um, we're hearing that mortgages are being re refinanced right now at a rate never seen before. The Banking Association receiving up to 2,500 requests a day to refinance. What do you take from that? How do you read into that? Well, people are smarter. They realise that they, they've been listening to your show. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the right, if you think you've got a, an interest rate that's too high, go and try and get a better deal. Mm -hmm. And they are talking to brokers because 70% of all loans come from mortgage brokers. Mortgage brokers have worked out there's no new lending. So what I'll do is I'll get my client list and I'll ring every single one of my, my clients and I'll suggest to them that I can get you a better rate. You can always get a better rate. There's always a better deal out there. And borrowers are realising that in, just because I, if I can't afford my current position or if I'm under stress, what happens if I reduce my rate? The thing that worries me about that is this. The moment you refinance, you, go, you take your loan back to a 30-year period. Mm. So if you've only got 20 years left on your loan or 25 years left on your loan, you go and refinance, it goes back to 30 years. Yeah. So you're basically pushing the amount of time. You'll actually pay more interest over the next 30 years than you would have over the next 20 years mm. because you're paying interest, albeit a slightly for lower a rate, for a longer period of time. So they're locking in your business for an extra period of time. Correct. Exactly. So what do people do? It feels like they're trapped by the, by the high interest rates. They're trapped by the banks. They don't know whether they should swap or not. They don't, they don't know if they've got another 30 years of work in them to pay it off. People are trapped. What do you recommend they do? Well, I, I, think, I actually think they should refinance. And the reason I say that right. is because in the meantime, in the next, say, two or three years until interest rates start to come down, while interest rates are high, their repayments per month will be lower. Then when interest rates do go down, they will come down eventually. Then you've got more money in your pocket, start paying your loan off faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you effectively reduce your 30 years back down to 25 years. But everyone's got to be aware of that. They've got to know what this strategy is and actually got to put the strategy into place. Yeah, the days of just locking it and paying it are done. Yeah, yeah 100%. All right. All right, Mark. Always good to get your insights, Mark. Thanks, Thank Mark. you.